Before we wrap up this section, I wanted to discuss some industry terminology as well as terminology that is specific to ServiceNow, which we'll be using throughout this course. So in this lecture, we'll talk about application platform as a service, what the nonstop cloud is, we'll discuss the Now platform, we'll cover what a ServiceNow customer is, we'll cover some of the types of ServiceNow users, and finally, we'll cover what out of box means. So let's get started. Up first is application platform as a service. Now this is a fairly new term and I couldn't find a whole lot of information on the internet, but hopefully some of these snippets will help to make sense. It's slightly different than software as a service. So in the first quote from Gardner reads, application platform as a service, APAS, is a cloud service that offers development and deployment environments for application services. The second quote is from Mendix.com and states, an application platform as a service refers to a cloud environment for designing, building, deploying, and managing custom business applications. In simpler terms, it's a single platform that enables speed, collaboration, and control across the entire application lifecycle. I personally think this last quote is very fitting and kind of sums up what's at the heart of the application platform. Next, I want to quickly show you this image taken from ServiceNow.com. So this is what they call ServiceNow's system of action. And here we can see at the very top, the top level, we have our cloud services. So these are things like IT service management, IT operations management, etc. We also have security, so security operations. We have customer service applications. We have applications that are dedicated to HR and our custom business apps. Then moving a layer down, we have the Now platform. So all of those cloud services sit on top of the Now platform and the Now platform is what makes those services possible. The Now platform consists of technologies like the service portal, subscriptions and notifications, knowledge bases and service catalogs, the workflow engine, developer tools, a single database, etc. Now, going to the last layer is the nonstop cloud. So the nonstop cloud consists of the actual hardware that makes the now platform possible. The nonstop cloud offers multi-instance, security and being compliant, and scalability. So it's these three layers that when combined make ServiceNow really shine. Okay, so nonstop cloud, what does this mean? It represents availability, reliability, scalability, and security, which we kind of hinted on in the last lecture. So ServiceNow states, the ServiceNow nonstop cloud is always on. No customer instance is ever offline or taken down for any reason. A unique multi-instance architecture ensures each customer can fully customize cloud services and perform upgrades on their own schedule. Highly secure, the nonstop cloud conforms to the highest levels of compliance and global regulations. And an industry leading advanced high availability infrastructure ensures instance redundancy between two data center clusters in every geography, scaling to meet the needs of the largest global enterprises. Up next, we have the Now platform. The Now platform provides no to low code for customizations. There's no proprietary languages needed. It's primarily all customized using JavaScript. There's IT governance. There's integration services, development tools, notification services, and again, we'll see security here as well. 
So security is a common theme throughout the entire platform. This is an image taken from servicenow.com showing the Now platform in a little more depth. So ServiceNow has tools to make custom applications that leverage things like notifications, mobile support, and emails a lot easier. It includes Git integrations, automated testing frameworks, the Studio IDE, and really just a number of other tools that show the true power of the Now platform. So again, circling back around, these are the cloud services at the top here that sit on top of the Now platform, which the Now platform sits on top of the nonstop cloud. Okay, moving along, this one's a fairly easy one. So whenever you hear ServiceNow customer mentioned throughout the course, I'm referring to an organization which licenses ServiceNow. Nothing more, nothing less. It's just simply a company who is licensing and utilizing ServiceNow. Next are three primary types of ServiceNow users that I'll use throughout this course. The first one being an end user. The end user has no roles and is typically non-IT. So they would be in HR or finance. Next is the power user. The power user has the ITIL role and is in IT typically. So these would be people in the app dev team, on the IT security team, etc. Finally, we have the system admin. The system admin has admin rights to the platform. These are administrators of ServiceNow that work for the organization and can modify and configure ServiceNow. Lastly is the term out of box. Out of box is a feature or functionality that works without any configuration or modification. So for example, if a customer just bought ServiceNow and got a brand new instance, when they logged into it for the first time, that state, that state of the instance is considered out of box. So before any configurations or customizations are made, that's the out of the box state. For example, here's an out of the box incident form. So when you request a brand new instance of London, this is what the incident form would look like. Now due to the flexibility of ServiceNow, an administrator has the ability to modify this form. They can add new fields on the incident table, they can remove fields from this form view, they can do all kinds of things, and that would no longer be out of the box. It's only out of the box when it's the existing loaded data and metadata a part of the ServiceNow platform. <laughs> 